Hi, Job Seekers. I'm here today with Clint Swindoll, author and CEO and founder of Verbalocity, to talk to you about appreciation and how that can fit into your job search. Clint, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. So we're talking about appreciation for our job seekers out there. What sort of things would you say they need to be appreciative of right now? You know, I tell you, particularly during the holiday season, throughout uh, really just any time of the year, we have a real responsibility to be appreciative of everything that we have around us. You know, I think sometimes we, we spend so much time focused on what we lose uh, or, or what we don't have, whether we're looking for a job and we or we don't have the kind of job that we want, so we're looking for a new job. Too often we spend our time focused on what we don't have. I believe, number one, what we have to do is, is focus on what we have, that we, that we have so many great things around us if we're just willing to go and look for those things. Number two, I think we have to be appreciative of who we have in our life, that I realize that even though I have challenges in my life, whether it's looking for a job or looking for the next client or whatever it may be, I can handle any of those things, any of those challenges, as long as I have the right people around me. And Sometimes we spend so much time focused on the fact we can't find the job or we can't find the next big career opportunity opportunity that we forget to stop and appreciate the people uh, that we have around us. So I believe it's extremely important that we focus on what we have, we focus on, on who we have. Perfect. Now, in relating that to a job search, it makes me wonder if sometimes people don't realize the resources that they do have around them. Oh, exactly. They have so many resources around them all the time. And in fact, sometimes we, we think that there's only one way to go about getting a job or, or one way to go about meeting people. But we have so many resources around us that, that if we just reach out uh, and, and are willing to build those relationships and reach out and fellowship with other people that we would be amazed at how many opportunities we have because of those people we have around us. Now Clint this brings me to another point of a lot of times job seekers will come to me and say you know I have this person that I met five years ago who is in the industry that I'm looking for sure. but we haven't spoken since then I have his email sure. is it appropriate for me to reach out when it looks like I'm just trying to do so to get something from that person you know there's no question that when you build a relationship with somebody over a longer period of time that there's a a, a, a greater willingness to help those who quite frankly have maintained a relationship when they're not wanting something but it's always important even if we know someone who's in our in, or who's in our industry or we know somebody who might be in a position of being able to help us I still think it's important that we contact them, number one, uh, because there was at least enough of a relationship at, that, at some point for that relationship to exist. But number two, we never know what needs the other person has. We can't just look at it and say, well, I'm going to them because I need something. They may need a person who has your skill set. And if we don't offer that up to them, quite frankly, we have caused both sides to lose in that scenario. So I encourage everybody to enter into every one of those, into every one of those situations, into every interview they go into, not with, I need the job, but that employer needs me. And so if we walk in the door with that kind of mentality, then we're not afraid to contact anybody because their destiny says that everybody's got to meet up some sometime and we give that chance whenever we reach out and we make that phone call. Excellent. Now, Clint, if somebody wanted to find out more information about you or to contact you, where would they go? Sure. They can go to the website at www.verbalocity.com. They can email me directly at clint at verbalocity.com or they can call our toll-free number at 877-VERBALOCITY. Perfect. Thank you so much. You bet.